Legend of Total War here with a new campaign series for Total War Warhammer 2. I'll be using the Steel Faith Overhaul mod and also the um, the um, the Better Battle um, Camera mod. Anyway, which allow me to zoom in closer and but also to pull out more. So I can look at more of a bird's eye view, which is what I prefer. Anyway, I'm going to be playing the Eye of the Vortex campaign I fight for the greater as Arkham the Black, so it's a Tomb King's campaign on legendary difficulty with very hard battle difficulty. And now we get to watch a bit of a movie. The sands of time ravage all. Mortals. Monuments. Even civilizations cannot stand against it. Their remnants lost beneath the dunes, awaiting discovery by the brave or foolish. Like time itself, the living are not welcome in Nehekara. For this is the land of the dead, ruled by the tomb kings where only the expired may serve. In his black tower, the Lich King broods. A stalemate between him and Setra has existed for centuries while Arkan awaits his real master's call. Eternity was promised, but the Tomb Kings awoke to unlife, no longer beatific sovereigns. Their kingdoms as decayed as their bodies. The glory of Kemri lost, forgotten. Black Pyramid stirs, but does not wake. A vessel of untold power, awaiting a new master. But it remains sealed. The Lich Priests are tasked with finding access. They venture deep into the catacombs, seeking clues. Discovering an obelisk inscribed with hieroglyphs as old as the desert gods. The answer lies in the nine books of Nagash, the original tomes of undead lore, authored by the arch necromancer. Due to the turbulence of the Vortex, not nine, but only five books and his master's staff are needed. Then, the pyramid shall open. Time has seen the books lost, scattered. Other tomb kings will seek them, for all desire the Black Pyramid. Begin the search. Raise your warriors. The legions of Khemri march to war. So, there might be a few people that ask, why, why Vortex Campaign? Why no Mortal Empires? So... Mortal Empires is a big drag, it doesn't have the story mode, and it's just a real big grind. I don't Master. mind playing as the as the Tomb Kings in Mortal Empires, 
but I'd prefer not to be get bogged down in a 50 episode campaign. So I'd rather just play a shorter campaign that's actually, in my opinion, better on the Vortex campaign with the Tomb Kings. I'm also interested to see what the what the storyline is for Arkhan, whether or not he actually resurrects Nagash, because in the lore, Arkhan does actually resurrect Nagash. Anyway, so we need to make a really strong start. Now, a strong start for the Tomb Kings is not necessarily great expansion. It's actually leveling up and getting new lords, because I don't have to pay for my troops. Um, so, let's see. We need to get this lord as quickly as possible. But also to level up Arkhan the Black as fast as we can. And the way to do that is, of course, he needs to win a lot of battles. So, first thing we're going to do is try and defeat this much larger foe. Um, not, not this particular army, but as a faction, they're much larger than us. So, what's your trait? Master of Ceremony. It's not very good. Unfortunately, I can't re-roll that. And it's going to be a while before I can get another one. Alright, let's do this. Now, we need to do everything in our, at our disposal to win well. It's not good enough to just do a shit job in these battles. So we need to, I need to use everything at my disposal, like I said. So what, one thing that I need to do is waste the ammunition of their archers. It's one of their strongest units in terms of how much damage they can dish out. And by wasting its ammo, it turns them into really crappy melee units. Uh, the best unit for doing that is probably going to be... We're going to be the Tomb Prince here. Because he can block 50% of shots for coming in from the front. Yeah. So if he can waste their ammo. They're probably not going to come charging at us. Yeah, they're not. Okay, good. Because this is a very difficult campaign, you know, at the start. You know, so... Well, we can, of course, do things, you know, the traditional way. It will make us... It will make it really difficult for us later down the campaign. And I don't see the point in playing on the hardest difficulty, but also not trying your best. What's the point in that? Like, if I was going to not try my best and just, like, play for fun, I'll play on normal difficulty. If I play on legendary difficulty, I want to give it everything that I've got. I want to use my best strategies, even if that means abusing stupid AI. It's not my fault the AI is dumb. Okay, so we took a little bit of damage, but we've nullified their archers. Every time they use up their ammunition as well, that increases our balance of power against them. So you, your job, you, you can't be shot now. Your job will be to run down routing units. Now they do have a general, so I want to be using Spirit Leech. Although they've added this miscast chance to to like every shot, which kind of actually makes it not worth using magic sometimes. It's only 25%, but it can do a lot of damage to you. Miscast. Oh, did a decent amount of damage. Okay, don't forget Spearmint. Spearmint should fight the Knights Errant. sit there and take it. Great. See, that, that time we didn't really do any damage at all. How long does it last? 13 seconds. Okay. Okay. So that's three shots of magic used. So if the fourth one overcasts, uh, at, not overcasts, if it mis miscasts, then, you know, that's, that's the odds that we've been given. So we've beaten the odds so far, but you know the next two shots might have, or might misfire. So you know, in a melee fight, that Bretonian Lord will win. So we need to use our magic. We've beaten the odds again.
And again, very lucky there. How much magic do we have left? We don't have a whole lot of power reserve. I don't want to sit here the entire battle doing this. Okay, we did uh, we did misfire that time. She's coming out fine fast. That Batonian Lord was very quick. No, I don't want Arkin taking too much damage. No, don't shoot him. Waste of ammo. Oh, got him. The liver mortis calls. Arkin the Black. It's also good to take out their units one at a time. Couldn't shoot at them. Save your ammunition for these other guys. What's the difficulty bonus that they get? Two. But their lord recently died, which will go down to minus ten once it's no longer recent. The, the Crypt Ghoul is fighting them, that's not what they're going to be good at. I want the, uh, the Skeleton Spearmen to fight. Crypt Ghoul's taking a fair bit of damage there. Because they're not good against armored units, this is an armored unit. Okay, they broke. I think they're, they're just being a nuisance. Now, we'll have to fight them again in another battle, so it'd be good if we can kill as many of them as possible. Are they coming back? Yep. They're being... Okay, here they come. I was going to say, they're being pretty stupid by not sending in the rest of their army. Now our, um, our, uh, what are they called? Our Crypt Ghoul is going to be really good at running down Peasant Mob because they're faster than them. So that'll be good for us. So you come in, hit them in the rear. Looks like the battle's almost won. So Trying to get any friendly fire if you can. Yeah, you want to run them down. Good stuff. And now we just try to kill as many of them as possible. So that battle went really well. Like I said, we need the battles to go really well. We start off incredibly weak. Yeah, thing. Especially try to prioritize taking out their archers. Alright, I'll just pause the recording as I run these guys down. Okay, there we go. Didn't wipe out the entire army, but we'll get another chance to do so. At least I hope so. Barely took any casualties, and the general's dead. Let's see if we can get some replenishments or a little bit of money. We really need to have a strong start in terms of... What's this? Scroll of Shielding. What does that do? Yeah, it's alright. Seen better. Of course, it's seen better. It's a common item. Um, yeah, I think we're better off taking the replenishment. We can have movement. Yeah. Okay. Good. We really can't justify order resolving this. Did I not run down any of those archers? Damn. Once again, we'll waste their ammunition, because that's just an effective way of doing it. And then we've got three three peasant units to deal with. This is the same map. Oh, 
Let's see, I once again send you to go and waste your ammo. He's good at it. A good early game to get would be Cask of the Souls as well, but I need money for that. But the ransom's not that high. I mean, it's good, but like I said, we, we got we got to try and defeat these guys quickly. Well, not necessarily defeat them, but get them to the point where they're down to one settlement, and then I'll just keep sacking that settlement to get Arkan levels up. Because expanding rapidly at this point, it's just going to cause lots of revolts. Okay, good, good, good. Let's uh, let's move forward. Now I'm not 100% certain, but this would be their second defeat, which means they should lose. Uh, should should get wiped out after the battle. Break them. This is here's a lot. Just just hang on. These guys can't fight for shit, and I need them. Sort of you get in there. You best go around, go around the sides. Yeah. Shoot them. So we're gonna break again real soon. So it should want them out, but I'm not 100% certain. How about you chase after them? You go stop shooting, I don't want to get any friendly fire. The, um, the Crypt Ghouls will take out. Run down the archers. No, stop firing. Do not want additional casualties. So it's just to make sure they don't get wiped out. I mean, that they do get wiped out. And if they, if they don't now... Didn't quite get them. Doesn't matter. Another decisive victory, more experience for Arkan. He desperately needs them. Even if we have an inferior army, if we've got a we've got a high level lord, it can make a big difference just due to having lots of abilities, because I can actually use some, you know, some better tactics. So we can get some replenishment or some money. Again, we'll go with replenishment because I need to keep a moving march going. Okay, so it didn't wipe them out and we don't have enough movie to get them. But there's not that many of them left. They will get another Lord, though. Might have actually been better not to kill the Lord in the first place. Oh, well. Okay, so what I want to really rush towards is Resurrect. That is a that is probably one of the best moves that he can get, because in this campaign, because of uh, Steel Faith Overhaul mod, um, all of the Tomb King units have virtually unlimited healing. Uh, and since that doesn't use our magic... Pretty useful. Okay, I want you to start gaining me canopic jars because we're going to need lots of them. So, regardless of whether he sticks around here or not, we take Lashiak next turn. Over here, public order is pretty bad. We're gonna need to fix that somehow. How are we gonna go about that? Vampiric corruption doesn't really matter. See, um, I mean, the Crypt Ghouls are pretty good. They come in high numbers. But I can't get loads of them. Okay, another unit that we're definitely going to need lots of are the Skeleton Archers. So let's get that going. I'll need Grave Guide as soon as possible as well. What I want to do is really rush this to level 5, rather than build up these regions. I'm going to get them, but tier 5 before I do anything else, because I need to get the constructs. So what is that army going to do? He's going to force march out of there. Okay. 
Not a big deal. Would have liked to have finished him off. Be good if I can get that that blood axe truck, whatever it's called, to fight him. No, and I'm not gonna pay him any money to do it either, because I, I don't need to. Yeah, this should be pretty easy to win. Oh, they've got extra units. Okay, that's fine. We should be fine. Once again, we just make sure we waste their ammunition, and then the rest of it shouldn't be a problem. <coughs> Funny thing, actually, if I had auto-resolved the previous battle, they probably would have gotten wiped out. Oh well, that's what happens. Once again, you're up first. We need to get him a chariot as soon as possible because chariots... Uh, the Tomb Princes on chariots are amazing. Really good at taking out just even high quality infantry, they're really good at it. Okay. Dodge. You take a few hits here and there, nothing major. It's easier to dodge if you got cavalry. As in if he's on a horse, not necessarily using a cavalry unit. Smaller the unit the better. Smaller and faster the better. Just gotta keep changing directions. Also, you can block like 50% of the shots. Much better to dodge. <coughs> now, that'll probably put the balance of power in our favor, but at the cost of his health. Good. Another problem is because they got so many units, they can easily just go around me and overwhelm me that way. Uh, I want you to stay behind them. Any units that rouse, go after them. I'm gonna shoot. Okay, good, yeah, shoot those yeomen. Don't think it's actually a good idea to do, to do this because it, it's because it backfires. It has a chance of backfiring. Yeah, not a good idea. I'm too concerned about shooting them. They're not, not very strong units. In here. Gotta protect the archers, though. You stay together. Over here. And just keep spotting him. They might get a charge in, but they're not going to do that much damage. There go, they're already routing. Bretonians just no more. Even on the hardest difficulty, they still they still just wrap too easily. It'd be really great if we could do this without taking any like without losing any any of the armies, any of the units. And you are just so weak. Get the fuck out of here. Go, go run those bat, uh, bowmen off the battlefield. These guys don't get the Tomb King ability either. 
So I probably won't keep keep the, the, the Crypt Ghouls for very long. But for the time being, they work well against um, the Bretonians because they run down the infantry. I'll be getting the other kind of cavalry at this stage. Maybe some chariots might be okay. Let's see if we go. The whole, the whole army is gone because it's garrison, so we don't need to worry about that. Good. We've got three decisive victories in a row now. That's worth a lot of experience for Arkan. Now, I don't really care if we even hold on to the settlement. We just need to keep moving. I'll occupy it. Oh, hang on. I think we should sack it and occupy it. Let's see if we gain any additional experience. Let's see. Yeah, you gain some ex extra experience from doing that. Now, the settlement will be badly damaged, but the thing is, we're going to leave here next turn to head to Sorcerer's Island. Which will probably have a similar garrison. Yep. So, a few extra troops might go a long way. What about some dire wolves? Won't be any use to their cavalry, but, you know, having them run into their. Um, their archers will be useful. Okay. Add another level up for Arkham. So, Sun Scorched Bones. Hang on, what else is there? Yeah, like I said, we need to be rushing towards this. We need... How many points is it? We need five points into this. One point there. So, how many levels up? We get we get two points at level five. So, oh God. Let's see. So, level five, three... F yeah, level five, get those two. Level six, level seven... Level 8, level 9, level 10. That's the earliest we can get it. Also, as we continue to level up, there is some seriously good um, Regiment of Renown to get. Mostly the the, the uh, Sphinx of Us, Us, whatever. <laughs> fuck, fuck trying to pronounce it. Um, let's see if we can get a trade agreement with them. What can we help you with this night? Excellent. Can I get some money as well? Yes. Good. And that helps to increase my income by a tiny little bit. But most of our income is going to come from you know battles, at least at this stage. Moving on. Are they actually going to make the attack? They better not just besiege. Oh, good. Because otherwise I won't get to recruit my troops. We should be fine. I mean... We're up against two lords though. Doesn't matter. Now, if we win, that other army gets wiped out because it's in force march. They've also got artillery. That needs to be... We can use the bats for that. Alright, let's get over here. I want them to not pay any attention to the bats. I want you to go straight towards them. Try and kill that enemy lord. Yeah, I think we'll just put a straight up frontal attack. They'll, they'll take a while to get in there because they're going to run slow. If you don't have anything, okay. Go, go, go. Straight from Morgan of the Flame. Get in there. Go, go, go. Take out those trebuchets. Whilst I probably don't want Tomb Scorpions, you know, long term into the game, they're quite useful earlier on. So maybe when we get to level 3 at, um, at our capital, getting the building for extra Tomb Scorpions, not, not too bad of an idea. Might be best actually not to let them fight in this battle because they're already damaged. Oh, 
Bats suck. This is no other way to put it. They suck. They can't even take out the one unit really that, that they're meant to do. All they're good for doing is pinning enemy units down. Which you can use any other unit for that, really. Kill the enemy general. These guys are great at sniping enemy generals. What else? Yeah, I really need to make sure that this unit here doesn't come back. So, you stay on top of that. But then again, watch out for the Knights Errant. take out the archers, but I have to go around this way. I don't want them touching the uh, cavalry. No, I don't want to risk Arkan taking any more damage in a battle that we should be getting victory on very soon. Yeah, that unit's gone. It should just about instantly break. Okay. You guys, get it. Get over here. You get back as well. Okay, they're going to charge you in the rear, though. Okay, I think we've actually wiped out both armies. I don't think anyone got away. Because this we don't have to worry about them. They're wiped out because they're on Force March. Yeah, no one got away. Good. It'll take them a while to counterattack. Because I don't, I don't mind if they took the settlement. But I didn't want them to take it. Alright, do we need extra replenishment? Or should we take the money? Well, maybe the Canopic Jars. Good, level 5. That's, that's, what, four decisive victories in a row? That's a great start. They're dead. Um, we'll have a few additional units. So that'll be okay. I will need money. And it will give us campaign movement range. We'll take that. We've got to move fast. So Lashiak has a Skaven... Lair. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a pain, but I don't think we can get rid of that. Alright. Good. Two points to distribute. This will make our skeletons a little bit better. Once we've really got that many. See, I want, want this because that's what we're going to end up getting. No point getting things like ammunition for skeleton archer, which at the end game we're not even going to have any skeleton archers. Because they're just they're they're good right now, but end game they're not. Um, and we we will definitely have tomb guards. Like I said, we need five more levels up to get what we need. No treasure out here. Oh well. Go by sea. My master will return. I wish the meddlers. So we have to fight that manually. But, you know, we've got a larger army this time, so it shouldn't be a problem. But once again... Oh, actually, they've got a larger one as well. It's okay. Once again, make make their um, 
their archers run out of ammunition. Although the Tomb King, uh, the Tomb Prince didn't recover all of his health. Doesn't matter, you're fine. And then we need to make a rush uh, to their final settlement and just repeatedly sack it over and over and over again. To get Arkan just as many levels up as possible. If we can get him to level 30 as fast as possible, he'll have a Necro Sphinx. Suck on that, Cetra. Alright, so you're up first. But we also have to keep in mind that there's other factions around here that will probably declare war on us at the drop of a hat. Non-aggression packs aren't going to be worth shit. Because the AI will break them and still be considered reliable. Which is stupid about this game, but that's just the way it is. out of ammo and they've done about you know maybe 600 damage to him you see that victory is in our grasp we haven't killed any of them the ammunition counts as balance of power and that's what takes into consideration okay probably lost about a thousand hit points in total still worth it to take out four units of archers now they've lost an advantage so even though he hasn't killed anyone in the battle he's actually done his worth once again, you get around the back. Keep you close by, but not actually in the fight. no cavalry in this army. Okay, so easy pickings to take out the, those guys. They had a bit of a struggle against Peasant Bowman, but of course, you know, legendary difficulty and very hard battle difficulty. Their, their infantry will get bonuses. Hmm. Might have actually been better off going with more crypt schools. They seem to be just better at dealing with these things. I mean, they're faster, they're good at running enemy units down, but. to run them down. Might get a little bit of experience out of it, but it's not that big of a deal. Another decisive victory. That's six decisive victories for Arkan. His army is getting stronger. Victory. Actually, in terms of kills, the, um, the Dire Wolves actually did one of the best. We won't have enough movement to sack and occupy, so we'll have to occupy. Don't need that. So yeah, next thing we gotta do, we gotta make a big rush to get to here. Before that hits the wall. Level 2, I guess. Alright, now what? So that'll be especially useful for Hero Titans. 
I just shop tea, great bows, which I will be getting as soon as I can. I doubt his attention. I should increase the public order in this area for me, please. You are not him. Okay, public order here is not great. Uh, Lashiac will repair over time. We could get this, which, which will give us plus five, but we're still leading towards getting a revolt eventually. Also, it actually has a problem here. How we make... Oh, right, trade. Um, I was going to say, that's 109, how are we making more money? Um, I could exempt it from taxation, so it takes off minus six. So it's, it's minus six in this. Also, the difficulty penalty is not minus eight, it's minus four. So they've rebalanced things a little bit, which I think does make it a little bit better. Um, the Skaven corruption is causing some public order. Pro oh, well, no, it's not. Because uh, it's only at 1%, but it's going to increase. We get a corruption minus 2 penalty, but it also a plus 2 bonus. Because we're playing as Arkan. We've also got access to archers now. I'm not a real big fan of Nehekara warriors, so I'm not going to get them just yet. Yeah, 4 archers in here will be good. So next turn it'll say minus nine. Mm. I do want to be able to move faster, but it's more about that growth. I want this to grow quickly. Just trying to think what to do. Just sorry, bear with me. Yeah, like I said, I need to make a rush to here, but there's no point if this settlement revolts. It's raining outside now, so um, probably hear a bit of uh, background noise. Can't do anything about that. Moving on. Maybe once we're getting close to revolt, we'll. Um, put up the public order, or just exempt it from taxation, because I don't need the money. Mission issued. What's this? At the start of turn, I have at least 250 canopic jars. Okay. How did we get from here to there last turn, but we can't get back there this turn? Ah, because we had the bonus from, from that battle. Right. I may need to force march to get there. Legions march. That's fine. Oh, but that means I won't be able to recruit. No. We still need to recruit. So we could just we could just walk our way back. We'll get there a few turns. It doesn't seem like they've raised any armies yet though. Cause I need to get Never. I need to have twenty units in my army so that I can get this. This is going to be very useful to me. I will exempt it from taxation. I'm not making much money from it anyway. Repairing these two would knock off two public order penalty. Alright, so let's see, what do we need? So we've got all the archers we need now. Crypt ghouls are particularly useful against... Alright, get one of them. Oh god damn it, why is it only one? What the hell? Is it because of the Oh because it's not being taxed. Right, that's why. Um I don't like bats. I'm not gonna disband the bats that I've got. But I'll take that. Right. Eleven turns we get So we're gonna go over here and just sack it constantly. Can upgrade this. Just one of the archers. Okay, let's move on. There's also a ruined settlement over here, which we could get a, a special necrotech to go and go and grab it. But it's not territory that I really want. 
I don't, I, don't, I don't need lots of territory. We need to level up. The lords make all the difference in this. Lords and heroes. Huge differences. Okay. Yeah, we do need Canopic Jars. Of course, it's at the risk of him actually not being a good fighter. I'll need to get to 20 units before I reach there as well. So what happened here? I want to try and make the public order hold out just long enough. My master will return. Until my other army can get here. And that way you can deal with the rebellion. But that's 10 turns away, and this is going to revolt in 4 turns. And I don't want to be going back here. We need to go over there right now and sack this. Looks like we've got no choice. We're going to need to put in the worship of Asaf to slow down this public order grind. Gets us to 17, so we still need two more turns of recruitment. But if I sack this for long enough, we could get. Well, we'll get that eventually. But we can't get that without a 20 stack army, right? This only uses up one growth. Maybe just doing this now will give us an extra build slot so I can build something for public order. Even though I want to rush this. This will increase growth. Yeah, we'll, we'll just do that because we got to got to rush to tier five. But maybe leaving these undeveloped is not a good idea. All right, moving on. It's also a book of Nagash right here. That only to be taken. You are cautious. Hell no. No allies. Allies are worthless. Absolutely worthless. All they'll do is drag you into fights and not back you up in your own fights. Okay, choice of servants. Okay, this is good. Um, what do I need the most? See, if I increase Tomb Princes... It won't actually... Okay, hang on. I don't need a Lich Priest, because he's already a Lich Priest. I'll go with the Necrotect. Where are my and now what ability did they get? Nah, that's not what I like. I like them to have, like, Ushab, Dikab, or something like that. So if you go meet up with him, and he recruits one more time, he'll have 20. I'm not sure if he'll make it next time, but they haven't done anything with this, apart from level it up. We can't let them level it up again. So it will take five turns to revolt at this rate. If I exempt it from taxation next turn, it shouldn't revolt at all. Because I don't need the money, we're, we're working on different different priorities right now. Could repair the buildings, but it repairs on its own. It's more like I don't need the taxes from here because it doesn't. there's not, there's not much taxes in the first place. He doesn't quite make it there. <clears throat> now, these these dipshits, they're not fighting them, are they? They're fighting the Thegans' air entry. Okay. My great works unfinished. My master will return. We're at full strength, but we'll take a little bit of attrition due to a slight amount of swamp. Drive onward. Ultimate shrine. This is my permission. There we go. Now, I don't necessarily want to do this right now. So, what was the mission I just succeeded in? 
Oh, carry out a hero action. It should activate next turn, I think, because I've got a, got a 20 stack here. So his presence here. Okay, we don't need to tax it now. We're not barely making any money anyway. So that's going to take 20 turns to revolt. Now, it might be okay to let it revolt, but once the other guy gets here first. So what do we got available here? Yeah, see, I just, I don't really like any of these units. Especially not the flocks of Dijaf. I just wouldn't want to waste my things on that. You know what, I might even disband this unit. Because there are, like, like I said, I really want to get um, one that has greater access to, to uh, more troops. Because they're free to recruit, and he's only level 1, not a big deal. Alright. Also somewhat tempted to disband the, uh, the Tomb Prince, because I, I really like the, um... The other ability. What's it called? Chariot Master. So they're starting to raise a new army. He wants to get out of there, that's fine, whatever. It's none of my business, what, what these guys get up to. Public order is getting worse. But still, it'll hold out. It'll hold out for that seven turns. Yeah. And devastation here will go down by one soon, so it'll hold out. Alright, now. No walls here, good. Again, same thing. We waste their ammunition here. Oh, I didn't I say I was going to disband this guy here. We'll disband him after the arm. After the I'm a stickler for getting those, those traits. They do make a big difference. You know, when we get to the settlement to level 3 and we'll have access to Ushabti, we'll want to get them. So having more of them will give us an advantage. Since we're on a manpower limitation. Alright, how do we do this? These guys will be the front. Yeah. That were in they're in the order that I selected them. If, if you're going to be disbanded, well, you might as well die instead. Don't waste their ammunition. I don't want to get him killed, because we've still got to do that, that edict, and that'll give us the, um, not edict, the, um, what's it called? The ritual, alright, uh, to get the... Casket of Souls, which is a very good unit. I want to put two Casket of Souls in every single one of my armies. But at the same time, I want to time it so that uh, we get the extra levels up for the general when he gets recruited. Because he's not going to... This guy here is not going to do much for us in this battle. Might as well have him waste the ammo. Rather than Tomb King, which is actually a better... I'm sorry, Tomb Prince. Which is a better fighter. Also, keep in mind, we are sacking the settlement. We are not going to occupy it. I don't actually want this guy killed because I can't do the right. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if the right's unlocked yet. I have to double check. Just keep him back. He's done. He's done. He's worth. As far as I'm concerned. 
They have no ammunition left. Did this guy hit suffer some friendly fire or something? Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Why don't you use your magic on him? I will just park our ass here every turn. And just sack it once a turn, because no one else I really want to fight right now. And eventually he's going to get sick of this and come at me. Getting Arkhan to level 10 is top priority, that's why we got to keep stacking it. Best develop my home province up first anyway. Holding onto this region is just going to be an invitation for more revolts. Now, another thing that I'll do is I'll probably start... I get rid of the, um, the ghoul building in Wizard's Palace. Just because there's other things that I want to build. And I don't want these long term. Like, they're good right now, but they won't be good for much longer. Still no miscasting, so that's good. Guess he's had enough of that. Yeah, kill him. Good stuff. So we should be able to get them to route pretty easily. We want to keep our casualties to a minimum, of course. All these guys are routing. Who hasn't routed? Oh, that went fantastically well. Didn't even really kill that many of them. We just got them all to route simultaneously. Able to encamp? No, we won't have enough. So hopefully they repair it. If they don't repair it, we don't get additional troops. Which means if we don't if we don't fight a battle, we don't take anything. We don't get any experience either. We can get a full level up on that though. It's their last settlement. They'll, they'll keep repairing it. Um, so. I want to check... Okay, so that's now available, but let's see what happens when we disband him. Because I want to get a different one. Oops. Okay, it's unlocked, so we can just get it whenever. Okay, now... So what we do here, we just... Since it doesn't cost anything to recruit, we just go in here, recruit them, and disband them. And every turn, a new one will show up in the pool. Until we get the desired traits we want. What I'm looking for is either the, the Sphinx Carver or Ushabdi Carver. Those are the two that I'll accept. So yeah, we're going to destroy this now. We'll still be able to keep these units, but there's other buildings that I need. Primarily growth at this stage. We got a, just a big push to tier 5. Sort of just try to stay off everyone's radar for the time being. While we build up. Good, they developed. Now what kind of army do they have there? 
Do I have to fight this manually each time, or can I auto resolve it? Okay, so you've gained a level up, that's, that's good. An agent of he does canopic jars. I'll have enough levels up that we'll be able to get everything in. Okay, so auto resolve is a viable option. Good. Damage. Oh, that's useful. That might be what I actually need even more. That, that'll get us there one turn faster. That's if he does that every single turn, though. Look, he's going to need to keep replenishing. How are we going for troops? Nothing that can be recruited in a single turn. We have to keep hitting that. So now we have a look over here. And not the desired trait. Let's try again. Anyway, we should be getting more money just from actually attacking the settlement. Okay, good. So he's at level seven. It's 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 still going to be a while, more than more than three battles because not getting a level up per battle. Okay, then over here we've got two choices: either go public order or growth. I'm more inclined to go growth. I want to, like I said, I want a big rush towards tier five. And same with over here. It also has a little bit of money to be gained, but it would actually take a really long time to actually make a profit out of that. Anyway, once these two here are are fixed, it'll it'll repair. Uh, repair the public order. There's also some, that's about 3,000 gold worth right over there. That'd be worth getting. My master will return. I'm going to check to make sure I put the settings right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can never be too careful. So almost at full strength, but that's fine. Get in there. Another sacking. Now, if he had one of his skills that would increase replenishment, that would certainly help us out in this situation, but, like I said, we're, we're working towards this. Such a useful ability. Okay, now, I think we can justify upgrading that. Because, like I said, we build another growth building, just skyrocket our growth. We need plenty of money for this. Wait a second. We're also going to need 200 for him. Well, I could just hire a different lord for the time being, because any old lord will do. I didn't check the, uh, the other thing, the Necrotex. I might have two to be able to use, or two, two from this turn. I need the Canopic Jars. Okay. Yeah, I've got two to choose from, and both of them are not acceptable. Where are my slaves? They'll keep repairing this every single turn. They'll just use their base income to do it. Okay, where else are we going? 
Good, so this has been repaired, so that's why it's only at minus one now. Still four turns to go for this. Okay, moving on. Dead. Although it did keep Thigan's errantry busy. Now, just out of curiosity, this it doesn't shave off a turn anymore, so not a big deal. This unit here might end up dying, but I just have to keep doing this. We've got to get to level 10. Raiding would provide us with From them. fuck all money. It's a way better. Undead loyalty. Next level up, we've got what we want. Probably maybe one or two battles. Okay. Now we're a little bit tight on cash. So we need to make sure we've got 5,000 left over for this. In fact, if I occupy that, don't I get Canopic Jars? Might actually get enough to, to tip us over the line so that we can get... So we can get him, because he's he's got some good bonuses there. Otherwise, we need to wait until... Well, we could always just switch him out with someone else. So I've got enough for one of these. Like I said, I want to keep it over 5,000. I think the next enemy I want to fight is Thegan's Errantry. Oh, you fucking... Gave in shits. It'll still hold out. We've only got to wait two more turns. those right now. Okay, good. We got to level 10. Excellent. So, there's your resurrect. Excellent. That'll make hero units more or less invincible for siege battles. Ushabti cover, cover, that's it. So, that the it's not so much the Ushabti they want, but the Ushabti Great Bow. Good. So, Quill needs to join up with them. That's good. He's getting leveled up as well. All right. Oh, that's right. We get two points to distribute. So what next? Casualty replenishment plus fifteen percent. Casket souls, yeah, because we're going to use that. Let's use this. Good. So it's just replenishment. It only it, it seems to only affect home region. I have Fun. my suspicions. When we're in. Our own territory would be good for him to help us increase public order. So how long is this going to last? Four turns. Three turns. Boy, we're going to be coming at close. If I repair this, it's only 125. That'll buy us a couple of extra turns. Still got to keep sacking it. Just because we got to level 10, doesn't mean, okay, that's it, that's enough, we're, we're done. We, st we need him to get to level 30. And there's nothing else I really need him to do right now, apart from, the only other thing I want him to do is maintain public order, but he can't do both. We proceed. No. Do not sign an alliance with them. Or just drag us into whatever wars they're gonna fight. Okay, 
Okay, no level up for us this turn, but that's okay. So I'm thinking the next enemy we'll go and deal with, of course, would be them. But I need to get our new general up to scratch. I really did want to hire him. Okay, so more you. I need more. Good, join How are we going here for growth? Okay. So we've got plus 65 coming in at the moment. We bought ourselves, yeah, we bought ourselves an extra turn by repairing it. Again. Um, hmm. What about public order? We might actually need it. Because I don't want to be dealing with revolt after revolt. But also, this technology here does increase public order. All of these ones here do. Yes. If we occupy this, it will, it will give us the the canopic jars we need. If I do this, I won't have enough money for, for this. And that's more important. Because I need to do that next turn. Alright, moving on. So Kemri's taking on quite a few people. It would be so good if someone else would take out Kemri, but he starts off with a Kemri and War Sphinx, so... Oh, motherfucker! He declared war on me. Alright, well, we gotta finish off dealing with those other guys. I'll... What are we gonna do about this? Should I fight this manually or auto-resolve it? Because I don't think I can really do much. Yeah, look, I'll just auto-resolve it. I'm glad I didn't put any extra money into it. I did put one growth into it, so that, that really sucks. So who oh I think I think Kemri organized this. Motherfucker. And that stopped us from trading. Just when things were getting really good for us. Now there's going to be a revolt here this turn as well. So okay, first thing, we've got to perform this right. There's no time to go back here just yet. Let me just see. Yeah, it would be good to punish them for this, but we got to finish off this faction here first. There's also gold up there. I have to get that another time. Attach the other guy first. We'll easily beat that army, but I got to, I got to catch them now. Bloody pricks! They've been walking through my land. Okay, so this time we're occupying it. But we should sack and occupy. No, no, just occupy, because they repaired it. That's the flame gone. Ah, look, and we got enough canopic jars to do what we need to do. Which we would have if we occupied it. Okay, good. We could wait one turn. No, we could just, we could just switch him in later. Because um, it doesn't cost anything here. Get you starting to recruit. Okay, get this unit. And we might as well tax it because we are. It's going to revolt anyway. Now, I don't know what the size of the army is going to come up over here. But let's, let's try to recruit faster than it if we can. Once again, he needs to make a big rush towards Resurrect. And of course, making his soldiers here a little bit better will be good. Alright, next thing he needs, the Skeleton Chariot's good, but the Purple Sun of Zarius, that's better. So that's what we're going to go for next. Perhaps an agent of Settler. So we'll have to double back over here to attack him. That that really slowed us down because that cost us growth. I put I put money into that money and growth into that settlement, which I kind of wish I didn't now. Um, 
Next stop, they're going to go for Sorcerer's Island. If I... It, did I get extra garrison here? Yeah. I will not blight my soul. I'm just thinking... Hmm. No, never mind. Alright, moving on. Oh, right, I forgot to hire the... Um, it's only a small army, we might be able to beat it. Oh, wait, hang on. Hmm. Gotta really think about it. Last thing I want to do is lose my guy. He's there. Next thing. Another Lich Priest. Lich Priest for that guy will be good. Hero capacity for Tomb Princes. We got we got the money for it. But we won't actually be able to recruit one because we've already got one. I, yeah, a Lich Priest would be useful. So how many units does it have? He's just got three. And we've got four. Oh, god damn it. That's going to be so close. Then again, that's a spear unit, and we don't know what this is. And it's also one of the hardest difficulties. So we've got to take that into consideration. But this is also a regiment of renown. What if you were to hire this unit? If we hired this unit, we'd easily win. I don't really want to wait around one extra turn. Who knows how many troops it's going to get. I'm glad that they stayed put. I'm going to exempt this from taxation. We just don't need it. I need to re-establish a trade agreement with um, with the Vampire Coast. Oh, right. We, we don't have a connection to our capital. So hopefully you just stay very, very still. I should be able to reach them from here. But they'll probably try and run away. On your knees. Alright. I hope they don't bring in, you know, Vulture Mountain in. That would really sting. Immortality and power. This is forbidden. I feel like if they recruit four units, that's not worth me recruiting five. So we need to we need to stop it. I'll hire this. There's no way that they'll win. Can't even order resolve that. End them all. End their existence. Let Don't get any money out of it. Live. I'll take the canopy jars. Onward, soldiers. My will be done. The Lich King's 